What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is time again for the Monster Bass subscription box unboxing. This is for the month of October. Oh, but again, we're going to do this like I've done the last few. I've already been in the box. I've already gone through and, and got my uh, average prices on all these baits. So we're just going to dig into this box and we're going to show you what's in it for this month and we're going to give you a total valuation of what I think the box is worth not what they say the box is worth so uh anyway here we go we're going to open this up and get started uh first of all as usual we've got our little book in here these little books I have found are, are extremely helpful in a lot of areas they tell you about the baits that are in the box they tell you how to fish them uh they give you the uh the moon phases and everything. There's a lot of information in these little books. Uh, and, and I probably should include this information in the valuation of the box. Uh, so uh, moving forward, I'm probably going to give this a little bit more consideration uh, in the valuation of the box. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to set that over here to the side. And then uh, we're going to get started on this box. Hey, if you hadn't already... Make sure you drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell for future notifications. Hey, we are moving into the winter phase and we're going to do some winter fishing. Uh, hopefully, things will be better this winter than they were last winter. Uh, we're going to get back up on Dale Holla and see if we can't get some more big smallmouth. But uh, hey, enough of that. Let's get into this box. Uh, first up, we have a, a bag of Monster Bass uh, plastics. These have not been named yet. This is another one of those, like last month. They're wanting uh, uh, subscribers to help them name them. Uh, it's got a very interesting look to it. Uh, shape. I like these. I like this color. Uh, again, it's made of some very stiff, uh, good plastics. Uh, that bag of worms right there is five dollars. All right. Uh, the uh, Next bait, and I really like this. This is a kind of an old school bait. This is a Bagley Sunny B Balsa Wood bait. Only thing, boy, and I mean, I have fished Balsa Wood baits for years. The only thing you have to be careful with Balsa Wood is if you get that bad boy up against some rocks, you're gonna lose some paint. I've got a bunch of them in my box that are <laughs> missing chunks of bait, but man, that is a good looking bait. I really like this guy right here uh, with that crawdad pattern. Super, super nice bait right there. Oh, uh, that, let's see, how did that come out of there? I think it went like this right here. It did, it went just like that right there. Uh, that is a $9 crankbait right there. Come on. I'll put it back in the box later. Next up, uh, Excite Baits High Floater. I like the look of this bait. It's got a good dark color on it. Seems to be made of some real good stiff plastic. Tough plastics. Uh, this one is flat on one side and got the rounded edge on the other side. This looks like it might be a good bait for that uh, Tokyo rig as well. So uh, anyway, like that. Uh, the Excite Bait six bucks for that bag of baits right there. The X Zone 3.25 inch muscle back chunk in a blue, black blue flake is what they call this one. Which these actually these one of my favorite colors. 
uh, really like that. Reminds me a lot of the old, old school uh, pig rinds that you used to run on the pig and jigs. That's a, that's a good looking little bait right there. Like that. Those are three bucks a pack average. Uh, next we've got the Yozuri 3DB uh, 1.5 square bill. Well, there we go. Yeah, I really like that one too. I like the color of that one. I'm gonna be throwing this one tomorrow. Oh, uh, down on the river. I'm going out on the river tomorrow, and I'm gonna tie that bait on the throat. Boy, I like the look of that. Uh, this is a. Uh, Doesn't really say. Probably going to be around, yeah, three to five foot. That's what I thought, three to five foot. So uh, uh, I think that's going to be right in the range that I'm going to be targeting tomorrow uh, with some of my. Techniques, so I believe that will fall right into what I want to do tomorrow. And struggling to get these baits back in the box today. All right, get that back over there. Next, we've got the X Caliber Spinner Bait. Also in black blue color. I really like these. This black and blue is one of my favorite colors, uh, especially around here where I fish in a lot of stained water. Uh, these are, I, I really like this. This is the Colorado Blade Spinner Bait. Uh, and these run seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, another black and blue uh, jig. This is the Pacemaker by VM Baits, uh, designed by Bassmaster Classic Champion Cliff Pace, three eighths ounce. And these are five dollars per jig. And then we've got some uh, some more of these spear point uh, hooks that I got earlier in one of my other boxes. 1.0 six pack. These are also five dollars a pack. Uh, nice kiss my bass sticker, and we got our golden ticket down here. So uh, anyway, this box. Uh, total valuation on the baits is forty-eight fifty, and uh, with the uh, added valuation of the information you get in these books that I've never included in the valuation before, but I'm going to start now because there is some pretty valuable information in these books. I I, I really should have started including this. Uh, as part of the valuation earlier on not that you can't find this information online But the fact that it's already provided for you in this book. and You don't have to go search for it is worth something. So we're going to give that uh, uh, a little bit of uh, I, I think is probably We'll just we'll, we'll give the book another five dollar oh We'll give the book another three to five dollars so we'll say uh this uh we'll just call this a 53 dollar box how's that sound 53 dollars i like that uh overall i really like all these baits they're all colors that i will use uh and uh the throwback to the boss wood bait on this bagley bait i really like Really like that one. This is uh, Sunny B05, six to seven foot. That one right there will probably also fall in the range of what I'm wanting to do tomorrow. So it may also get used. We'll see how that goes down on the river. I like it. Hey.
I'm impressed with this box. And uh, I've been so impressed so far that uh, I went ahead and re-upped my subscription. So uh, you'll see another 12 months of this throughout the year next year. So make sure if you hadn't already, you have subscribed so you can see what's coming up in the next boxes. I hope my evaluations of these boxes has helped you decide whether you want to or not subscribe to Monster Bass or any other subscription box for that matter. I, honestly, subscriptions and boxes are not for everybody. I started to not re-up because my... I mean, I may have to buy a bigger boat because I'm just, I'm running out of storage room for all my tackle. But, hey, that's okay. If you need more storage space, you buy more storage space, right? No. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. That's all for this one. Make sure again that you down below Hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell for future notifications. We'll do this again next month. Till then, tight lines. Y'all have a good one.